another instra draft here and pretty easy first pick one of the best cards in the set and uh, can play any deck with black but it's six mana so probably don't want to be super aggressive but also works nicely with cards that bring cards back from the graveyard like for example Edgar's Awakening <laughs> But that card is kind of weak and you need a card to get it into your graveyard at first. So I can also like Mark of Retribution. If you read Black Vampires, you almost always have enough vampires to kill anything and buff your team a little bit. Whispering Wizard also good, but um, I think Mark of Retribution is better and Black Red is a better combination than uh, Black Blue. So, I mean, it's a great combo, but yeah, I'm gonna take the retribution. It's the better card. And now, there isn't much. I mean, black white is a good combo, so they can take traveling minister. You can also take blood crit socialite, very good in red black. So, it's between traveling minister and blood crit socialite. And Blood Crazy Social works better with more Retribution. I think Traveling Minus is a better card. And uh, one nice thing about Black Wet is you can get some Courier Bats and get cards back from the gray. And this is a very good card to get back. But I'll stay with the Red Black for now. And we'll see what happens. Well, Speak of the Devil. Here is a good Black White card. Also Circle of Confinement, but I think Mark of Purifier is just very good. Gift of Thanks is a little underwhelming. I think that I mean, playing play against another Vampire deck is very bad. So I'm going to take the Purifier here and a little sad I passed the Traveling Minister now, but maybe we will get another one. And here Glossin's Guest. I mean, this is good whether I go Black Red Vampires. That's pretty solid because it triggers all the life gain stuff. And if you're like Black, red, and have this, this buys you time. I think this is okay, and I'm a little bit open here. Oh, Kindly Ancestor, not bad. Works with Purifier, it's just a fine card in general. So kind of going away from the Mark Retribution now, but Blood Crest Socialite is still okay in uh, Black White, though it is worse. That's a late Brian Comber. I think I'm gonna go with the Blood Plethor Cerebral. I think it's slightly better than Reckless Impulse in case I go into Black White again. Or I mean Red Black. Still could go either way. Okay, gonna take a Statue F tier. The aim for the edge is just a side record anyway. And this is a fine card. It's not always good, but if you have a lot of blood makers, it can be decent. And here is Epicure, so kind of going back into red now. But I could still abandon. Of course, sort of by mana value, it's a little weird when you haven't decided a color yet. So if I'm black white, I have nothing early, which is a little risky. Yeah, I could take a Gantra, I guess. Probably not too interested in playing this. I mean, it's it's not even that good in blue black where it is at its best. We have Doom Dissenters and Biolum eggs and stuff like that, but in outside of black bed is even worse, so pretty unlikely to play that. Okay, take the red card I guess. Siphon essence. Take that. And we'll see. If I open a white bomb, I'm gonna go back into black. I go back into black white. And if I open a red bomb, go into red. We'll see if there isn't a bomb. Grass River is not a bomb. There is, however, a very good card for black white in Panic the Bystanders. It just does a lot. It's a two drop that gains you a bunch of life. 
It transforms into a pretty good card. For red there is Vampire's Vengeance and I, that card it's not that good. I, I haven't had that card be very good. It mostly it misses against other vampire deck and it misses against large creatures. So it has to be a very specific matchup for that card to be good. So I think I'm gonna take the white white card here. It's also it's a two drop. So if I were to go back in black white, it would be nice to have a good two drop. So we'll see. Okay. What do we got here? Not much. I mean in red there's reckless input, which is fine. There is grisly ritual, which is fine one off. You can if you have a bunch of blood makers, it's fine because you can get it away when it's too expensive. It's pretty mediocre, but I don't have any removal, so except this, but I think I'm gonna take Grizzly Ritual. It's I mean if I knew I was black red, I would take Reckless Impulse over it, but hmm, hopefully Inchit is not bad. It's not as good as it is in constructor, but it's still a fine one drop because it's pretty easy to get training going. And if I'm not taking that, I'm taking like Rag Reckless, which is solid, I guess. But yeah, I guess I go back into the black white. Uh, Diagraph Scavenger isn't bad. It's a little expensive with this, but you might get other life gain stuff. So it looks like I'm gonna go black white now. And I guess this is fine. It's a little awkward, but it's okay. Uh, so now the statuette. I don't know if I like having too many statuettes, but I can I guess they are good in multiples in some way. Mind Leech Ghoul is just fine. I guess I'll take that. I might need... I might be low on playable, so... Yeah, it's just... I got some really good cards. The problem is I only have 10 playables. Halfway into pack two. So I can't really double around too much now. I have to take good cards. And okay, Kind Ancestor is a solid card. It uh, triggers this card and you can put it on. Also triggers this. If you attack with Kind Ancestor and it trades, uh, this transforms by itself. So it's okay. Oh, traveling minister, awesome. Okay, now nothing is moving me away from black white. I have firmly settled in. So I, I, I could have had two if I had decided earlier to be black white, but I didn't. Okay, well, I hope I don't have to play this, but I guess put it here now. It's uh. It's kind of bad because it's a high toughness card that taps, so if you tap it, you can't block with it. So it doesn't do anything good. It's a bad tapper and a bad high toughness creature. So two wrongs doesn't make a right. But right now I only have 13 playables. And I guess this is the kind of card I can buy you time to get this card. Kind of wield this anyway. Mm, but uh, eh, I'm not playing the shield basher. Never know. Maybe open a some red crazy card. All right, another one of these. Ragged recluse. So I have Glutton's guest, but Chris socialite. Yeah, I guess that's fine. All right. Dread fugue is something I could play. It's kind of bad, but it's not unplayable. So I think we're gonna be fine on playables. We picked some cards here that you could put in your deck even though you're not happy about it. But it's better than playing with too many, too many lands. All right, red, great, rare. This is less broken than the Cemetery Desecrator, but it is a card that you opponent need removals before. If they don't, you're gonna die. If I'm lucky, I will hear enough hope. It seems like it's not impossible. This card is wheeled last time. This card is very good too. Yeah, probably not gonna do that. But a red 
An on color rare is great. Ooh, bleed dry or circle of confinement. This is tough. They're both great cards. Both great cards. Also, the catapult further could be interesting with. I have a bunch of high toughness card. Actually, a lot, but. Uh, so, Blade Dry kills anything, and Circle is cheaper. So, what do I want? It's one of these two. I think my curve is reasonably low, so I can take Blade Dry. And I have no enchantment synergy, so I think Blade Dry is slightly better. Just the fact you can build, kill big werewolves. So let's take Blade Dry, this was close. All right, so let's see now. Now this card, but this would have been more interesting if I had taken the circle, because circle is a good way to get enable this. Otherwise I have some kindly ancestors. So all in box escort here. What do I have to put counters on? So Nothing, right? Okay. Yeah. So, okay. So I'm gonna take this. It's pretty mediocre, but I think it's better than Vampire's Kiss. I'm not that all in on life gain anyway. And Allenbach doesn't do anything. So now I kind of wish I'd taken uh, the other card. Okay. Here I think I'm gonna take Gift of Fangs. I, I said I, I didn't like it, but I think it's fine to play one off. And now I picked up Bleed Dry, kind of an expense removal spell. I think it's okay. Still don't think Eddie's Awakening is that good. How do I even get the Death Creator in my graveyard except for the blood? And then I'm almost close to... The problem with Eddie's Awakening is you're up to five mana then and then you're one mana away from just playing it. Seems like you're doing a lot of work for nothing. Okay. Wedding Security, Panic Bystander and Traveling Minister. All good cards. I think that the Bystander is just better because it's just a 2-2 two, two for 2, which is better than a 1-1 one, one for 1. They both gain life in some way. And I don't think I have enough blood enablers to make the security that good. So I'm going to take this. Ooh, Restless Blood Seeker. Of course, I don't have that many ways to gain blood, but I have a lot of ways to gain life. So I think this could be good. I'm fine on low drops now. Okay, another rag reckless again. I still don't think it's good. I could play one maybe. Alright, I guess sanctify. Okay. See, do I have any random enchantments? No, I'm basically playing all my cards. This is mediocre, but I do have two kindly ancestors. And maybe a gift of thanks. If I put it on an opponent's free free, then you can get this back. It's pretty mediocre. So this card has some very good cards in this deck and some very bad cards. <laughs> Not really where I want to be, but uh, I think the top half of my deck is insane and the lower half is very mediocre. Right now I'm playing Double Mind Leash, Ghoul, Beguiler, here I'm blessed guys, this is also a little bad. But I have some, these are good. This is obviously one of the best cards. So I don't think this deck is very good. I'm probably going to be pretty happy if I go 2 1. We'll see. I guess Mind Leash, Ghoul, and Kind Lances can be a combo. If... Ooh, Valorous Stance. I didn't expect that. This late. There's also Fierce Retribution, but I think I like the stance better. It's also Dominant and Vampire. That was a very good pack. Now I have my 23 playables. Kind of unfortunate that all those two great cards were in the same pack. But. Yeah. Here's the card I don't like, Skulk and Kill it, but I guess you could play it. It's better than Vampire's Kiss, I think. Yeah. It is pretty bad, though. It almost never does what you want it to do. I'm just gonna play Vampire's Kiss. 
can sometimes trigger this on its own, and then it's fine. And uh, yeah, I mean that skull can kill the card so bad. Though. Okay, now I can cut this. I think it's the worst card right now. This I think is better than that. Don't like playing double mind lich ghoul now that I also have two of these. Oh. Some cards here. Yes, now Rag Reckless is a little better. Better than Mind Lich Ghoul. Because I picked up Vampire's Kiss to get another way to discard a card. Alright, still Olenbok Escort is bad. Doesn't do anything here. I mean, I guess this, but no. It's just one card. This is nice with Valor Stance, you can protect it sometimes. I wish I had a Blood Fountain, that would have been very good in this deck, I think, because I have a lot of creatures, some of them sheep. Ooh. This card is not unplayable, I think it will be okay in this deck. Also makes <laughs> trees this, I suppose. Uh, hmm. Wedding invitation. Yeah. How many vampires do I have? This, this, this. A little bit win more with this, isn't it? I guess it's a combo with Mark of Purifier. All right. Let's see here. Maybe I can cut this, put in Vetting Imitation, and hmm. maybe I just cut the Mind Leech Ghoul. That's pretty bad. Yeah, this is, seems okay, and. Yes. Uh, I want an early white. Something like this. It's okay. Alright. You have round one. This hand is mediocre. It uh, has a kind of answers I can play, but bleed I am very far away from. Far away from. This card doesn't do much in this hand. I think I'm gonna ship it. Okay, a little better. Missing a uh, white. I think I'm gonna ship a swarm. The reason is a third swarm doesn't do much for me. I mean, it lets me cost these, but I think I really want to draw white, and I, I think I need all the cards I can get. Now, it is a little risky, of course, but yeah, there we go. Obviously, I was right all along. <laughs> now, but uh, it was greedy, but I think it was right because. Missing a color means that you... What am I even doing without... Without more lands. Alright, so that really paid off. So I'm gonna play this and get a blood. Question is, when do I transform it? I could do it... I can't do it next turn because it's sorcery speed only, but... We got some things going on here. I'll put this on the green-white Aggro training deck. Okay, here comes something that can attack. Means I can't attack next turn, but we'll see. Okay, hand is working out, I'll say. So next time I want to get to attack, put a counter. I can like block both, but I want to get to keep the counter. But no, oh, I guess I could have transformed it now. That was a little bit of a mistake. Yeah, that was a punt. I could have transformed it. I forgot that I got a second blood there. Okay, that was stupid. Alright. That would have prevented an attack too. But, yeah, that was dumb. Okay, so it probably wouldn't have mattered because my opponent could have done this. So I guess my play worked out because now I saved two blood. <laughs> yes, <laughs> my mistake 
paid off. Uh, I'm not too concerned if my opponent kills my gluttonous guest anymore. It doesn't bother me too much. I could actually get rid of that with uh, hopefully Nietzsche it at some point. But then of course I would need more. Okay, let's do this. I don't think I'm going to attack though. And next one I could even this card is pretty good against green white, but because you can use the ability. Though of course my opponent could have the three mana aura. The name escapes me for the moment. Here I'm gonna take three because I wanna. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, <laughs> look like that. And next turn, I can just either do this or something else. Okay, that's a good card right now. Okay, so let's see here. I think. Don't want to play the Dyer Scavenger right now. Let's just start. Getting rid of some lands here, gain some life. You can still activate the Blood Christ. Hello, Blood Sword, I guess. Okay. okay, that's not the worst, I guess. Play that. Which is funny, the Cemetery Desecrator right now doesn't do much because there is no cost and cost in the graveyard, but that could change, of course. Right. So, I could get a nice four point life swing. Oh, that's pretty good. What I'm gonna do is do this. Then attack. I don't even need to use this, I don't think. Actually, I think I do. It's not gonna get any better, you know. Got a four point life swing. And play this as a free free eventually. And the this card is growing a little bit out of control, but I can ra if my opponent attacks everything, my opponent needs to put a good blocker into play because otherwise I can just attack back for a lot, especially this is a little drainage. Yeah. Okay, so my opponent is holding back now because I guess it doesn't do anything. I can just block with a 1 4. Alright, we are taking 8 here, but there is no good blocks. But, okay, so, you know what, let's just attack here, this gives me a drain, and it also gives me a Deal two here, so maybe I should have attacked with this too. I guess maybe, and it gives me an, another card for this. All right, but it's a draw a card, but I don't, I don't think I'm gonna discard the right records just yet. Next turn I could, if I draw something worse, I could maybe just play it as a free free drain card. But yeah, I should have attacked this, I think. Okay, it's not the end of the world. But 20 life, I can take a lot of damage here, especially when this gains me life. One creature in my grave. 
attacking, okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's going away. And now what do I do? The problem... The problem with attacking with this is that my pod blocks and puts all the counters on something else and what do I even accomplish? I guess I put another creature in my graveyard. Whereas if I attack with this, it doesn't do much either. It deals a lot of damage. Okay. So, I think I want to push some damage here. Deals. Now this can be another point next turn. Sure, this is right, but I kind of want my opponent to stop attacking me because then I think I'm just gonna eventually win. Yeah, like this. Ooh. So the problem is, if I kill this, the counter goes something el where else. So how about I just attack with this? And uh, shield because now if the parish blade blocks and puts the counter somewhere else, I can kill that. And if this happens, now there's one less blocker, one less annoying target for this. And now it's, I'm up to two creatures here. So let's pass. Okay, that was a good, good, good draw, Jesus, that was good. All right, so now I play this and I don't have to hurry up at all anymore because I'm drawing two cards a turn and I'm at 20. Okay, my opponent's gonna need some Really good card to get out of it because I also have Valorous Stance to kill something big. Still don't like any attacks here necessarily. Alright, maybe I do. Alright, let's see what it is. And now my opponent needs. Okay. So, green, white. Sanctify kills that circle, but that, I don't think that's good enough. That's because I only saw one target. Mm. If it's better than Vampire's Kiss, I don't know. I only saw the one. We're back, and this time to keep a little weak sauce this hand, but do have nice valorous stance, which looks very good against my opponent's deck because my opponent is trying to make a big, big creature. Oh, I guess that uh, makes it harder though. <laughs> now my opponent's big creature can get instructed. Yeah. Oh, of course, this card has another mode of making something indestructible. We'll see if that comes up. Okay, right, this is a good start, but I guess my opponent only has white mana so far. Probably gonna trade for the 
Ollen Bock if I can. Don't. That. Interested in trading for this, but I, uh, who knows. We'll see. We'll see. All right, there's green. Oh, crap. <laughs> that could be a problem. No attacks, huh? All right. Okay, this is gonna be tough. Sure. We are in some deep trouble, I'd say. But if my pool doesn't have anything, the this card does the trick. But of course, the annoying thing is that if my pawn can now rummage into more creatures, which is more one-one training cards. But I guess now I can maybe raise. Maybe. So now every time I pawn plays a creature, he gets a blood. But what else am I gonna do? You know. Okay. Interesting. So, which is where plus three plus three and reach doesn't do it. I think I want just does this to get a uh, to get this in the yard, which I'm fine with. It doesn't even trigger this, so I'm okay with this. Yeah, because. This only triggers from creatures. Now if my one puts it on this, this can get lifelink, but yeah. I don't think not blocking leads me anywhere. And wolf strike doesn't do it either. Because um, that's only free damage. Okay. Um, Five four when it dies, draw a card. Well, I gotta attack. I think I, I can't just sit here. I guess. Opponent likes the card in hand. So I think I'm gonna play this because then I can. Uh, Double spell next turn with Valor Stance, kill this, but I don't need to kill that right now. Now I could even block this, maybe. I don't know. Okay, that's attacking without any hesitation. I guess it can gain indestructible, huh? Yeah. But, uh, so what if I take 11? That's a lot. Uh, I, I like this because means I can use the Diagraph Scavenger next turn. Opponent gains free life, but yeah. Okay. Um. So, how about my attack for 7, put my opponent to 10, then play this, drain for 2 and have value stance ready. I think this should be fine. Puts me up to 11, so I mean, even if my opponent has some removal, I can value stance this and not die. And then it's a big attack on the way back. Okay. I don't think I need to kill this now. The reason is I'm just gonna gene. I'm just gonna block this, kill this, and then and this way, if my opponent goes for the win somehow, like with a pump spell. I can just blow my opponent out with Valor Stance. So my opponent needs two things here. Five, nine. This is lethal. 
destroyed the grid with touch for four or greater. All right, so now if what needs another thing. My opponent has double adamant. That's just <laughs> I can't even I can't even describe how insane that is. I think I played it right. It's just that was just that was just crazy. <laughs> I, I don't think you should play double adamant build in uh, green white. I'm not even sure you should play one, but whatever. That was rough. I don't think that should have happened. But all right, this is fine. It's uh, needs more lands, but that was gross. <laughs> that shouldn't happen. But. I'm okay with that. I think I don't think I made a mistake because you can't play around double admin wheel. Alright. <laughs> okay. Well, we draw four lands in a row in good shape. Yeah. Bleed I, I could have used last game. So I could have just killed that rare before it got out of hand. Okay. Okay. All right. So do I attack or not? Yeah. No, I don't. I don't think. It's close, but this is very close to triggering this. Okay. My opponent is playing a lot of non creature spells. I guess this enables that. So now, is this all turns? Okay. All right. So I think I'll start by attacking here. It's now getting two life, so if I draw a land here I can trigger this. Oh crap, alright, maybe no, I think I just things are not working out. <laughs> I was wanting to play this, but then I draw a white. Hard. All right. Guess I just block here, do I? Or there's adamant wheel, I suppose. No, I don't think I I block. It's I don't want my opponent showed me double adamant wheel. I just don't think it's right to do that. All right, because. Next turn, oh, okay, that's good. So now I can attack, and now if my opponent goes for Adamant Will, I can just blow my opponent out here. With either Valorous Stance or. Okay, so now my, my gain to life, I guess I go Vampire's Kiss. Traveling minister, and now I will transform this to free fire. They can gain death touch. I guess my opponent has valor stance, yeah. Yeah, and the land. Question is, do I use blood token here? My hand is so good, so I probably shouldn't, but. It's possible I could get rid of Valorous Stance, do I think? Bleed Dry can kill this and then I can Valorous Stance anything, pretty much. Okay. Alright, so, okay, that's good. Let's start by doing this. 
Just a nice live swing. Yep, this is okay. Now, it actually gets rid of Rag Dracus. I know it's good, but it also gets blanked by the free for. I know I'll get to the cemetery desecrator. <laughs> okay. All right, this is. Oh, crap. So annoying. I have to do this, I want to get rid of the free too. But I want to give my opponent a chance to equip. But now my opponent gains free life, I think that's fine. I don't really I don't think I'm winning the race by any stretch, so I guess my opponent did this, which is okay, and I can bleed dry that. Okay, land is nice. So this can right now the highest convert amount of cost is free, but I can get more. So let's just target this, and there is nothing that gives hex proof, I don't think. So I'm just gonna pass and let my opponent. There's nothing that gives hex proof. There's only indestructible, and indestructible doesn't work. It's bleed dry. But yeah, this card is. All right, let's do this. And Adamant Will doesn't do it. All right, so now I can kill that if I draw a land. Probably will. Yeah, I'm just gonna kill that because that card could be a problem. Let's just get rid of. Let's see here, Exile Target. Okay, and let's just. Silent Militia Rallyer. Target creature. It's minus three, minus three. And actually, I think attacking is right. Because now I think I'm a little bit aggressive because I have a 4 4 mana in play that my opponent can't kill. And I also have the this to put it on. But of course, my opponent could have. Something that deals with it, exiles it. Okay. Well, I'm winning the race pretty easily. So let's do this. Put that on that. Pump it up. And if my opponent wants to kill it with damage, or uh, then it kills something out of it. And I also have Wedding Imitation and the Blood Sworn Squire. Which also is why I'm gonna keep the land in my hand. Because I have three creatures in my grave. I guess this meant that this doesn't transform anymore, but I think that's okay. Because so. Okay, and I hope my, my opponent's hand is full of adamant wheels now because it doesn't do anything. That would be karma. Why I don't like cards like that too much, but so let's say my opponent plays a blocker, then I have a decision to make because then it's not so easy. Okay, uh, my opponent could also have. Now nah, I think what I'm gonna do is. Only attack with this. The reason is if my opponent has like the, the destroy an attacking creature, I get to kill my opponent's creature. But then I can kill this and then this can get through at some point. So I'm just gonna do this. I think holding the lands is okay. I could have attacked with this too, but it's a little more risky. I think. 
<laughs> I would really like that car. Okay, so now uh, I think I have this because I can respawn, make this indestructible after it attacks. So I should have this. Yeah, this is not a fair magic course. <laughs> All right, we got, we got. It. All right, cool guy forty two. This is a pretty clear keep. I mean, what this hand is missing is removal, but I have the bomb and some cards that hopefully makes me stay alive. Green, red, probably werewolves. Okay, I can't block that for now. But uh, I'm gonna put up some kindly ancestors. Yeah, so. Okay, so next then I'm gonna have a tough decision as to whether I wanna double block or not. If I hold attacks with both, I think it's a pretty easy block on the. I don't think that changes anything. If I hold attacks with the. The wolf, I think, is a pretty easy block with this because I can trade it for a pump spell. But if I'm both attacks with this, I have a hard decision because I could double block and get destroyed by a pump or get very good value if my opponent doesn't have a pump. Okay, so now I think it's pretty easy. I just block here and take zero if. But now if my opponent has a pump spell, I don't care too much. Okay. So that was weird, I think. <laughs> uh, I think I played another one of these. I mean, I could even transform the Panic Bison on the next turn if I attack with both. Now it's harder because the one hold has six mana, so we'll see. Uh -oh, I guess uh, I'm not attacking. <laughs> I'm not attacking. The Cemetery Desk also doesn't have any targets. So, uh, okay, well, sadly I only have, all right, let's do this and, you know, yeah, I think actually I'm gonna attack with both, suicide one of them, but this means I will transform. So now I can block and give death touch. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And yeah, I lose a creature, but they have some value in the grave. But also now the cemetery desecrated does a little bit more. Okay. So now this can block at least and give death touch. But if I have a removal spell, I'm in trouble. But that was probably the case either way. If, if I didn't do this, this can just attack, right? Okay, well. Yeah. Like. I don't really see what more could have except sure strike. I'm pretty happy about that trade. I couldn't now I have six drop to exile. Do I wanna do it now? Probably, I mean those are both pretty threatening. And I think I killed the uh, one didn't cost anything last turn. Four free mana still is scary, but I'm at 25. I think I killed a mana dork, probably. I mean, I'm not really losing the race here. That really worked out well for me trading off that. That was just great. Okay, that's good. But, all right. So now if I attack, I can kill both creatures if my opponent block. Let's cost this first. And actually, let's make sure that transforms as well. Now, 
I can kill both creatures if my opponent blocks because of the trigger and I also now have this so I think this is good and it's worth putting this on to transform my okay it looks like this card just wins the games on its own also now this transforms back so uh oh what is this okay well that's okay I think Alright, so now what? Now the attack is less good, but okay, that's not bad. Kind of makes me want to hold off using the cannon. So now if this attacks, I'm on double blocks. And I get to still kill two things. I also attack with this, yeah. I actually think attacking is good here. I get to kill these two for this. I think that's a fine trade. Especially since... How do I even... Uh, you know... Yeah, this is fine. Let's see here. So I can give minus three, minus three. Because I can't excite itself. Yeah, not a card, okay. Alright, so. We have both blossoms, and then. My bot also not gonna gain any life because of minus x minus x. Okay. Now I can play the Bloodsworn Squire. The question is, do I even cast hopefully in each hit? Uh, I kind of want to save it to discard it to transform this. So I think I don't do that. Because then this flips and this card doesn't do much. Okay. So let's see here. Let's. Uh, I don't think I want to use this. Just because then this doesn't transform. So let's attack with these two. Actually, there's no real reason to right? do it like this. And I think I just pass here. Okay, that doesn't trade. I guess it is a 6-6, six, six, huh? Maybe I have to give up. I kind of want to transform that back. Alright, let's play that. So I don't really want to trade for that. And then let's just pause that. And shield for a turn. Okay, so now my opponent can probably just pass the turn. But hmm, this is a little tough to get through. I don't think I have a way to get that back. Didn't get any courier bats. Alright. Ooh, okay, all right. <laughs> that was sick, okay. And, all right, let's um, pump that up, I think, and just attack with everything. I'm okay with losing some stuff. I don't think Rumpel has anything. Yep, that's okay. Oh. Okay.
And I don't want to do this because now this flips if I activate it anytime. Okay. Cemetery desecrate. Okay, so green, red werewolves. Could put in this instead of like vampire's kiss, maybe. Hmm. Just take some of the high end. Yeah, Vampire's Kiss can be good though. Valor stands really great here anyway. Alright, looks very similar to the last hand, except I don't have a mythic bomb, but we'll, we'll make it do, I think. Especially since the rector is gonna flip pretty early here. Okay. Okay. Nothing early here. Okay. Man, if I had some li more life gain synergy stick, would be even better. Like some courier bats, but okay, okay. Well, <laughs> here we go. I guess uh, I think get like kind of ancestry here. That way, I might be able to get a blood next turn. We'll see. I could even go wedding. No, I guess I can't. This isn't a vampire. Never mind. Okay. Doesn't bother me too much. Yes. Now I can double block maybe. Yeah. Okay. Alright. It's not the best, but not the worst either. I think what I do is go wedding imitation. Restless Bloodseeker, no. I could attack here, trade, get the blood, but then I can get it back, maybe. But no, I don't think that's good. I think this is just such a blank right now that I don't want to trade a 2 free for that. And I'm not even in that hurry to get blood, so, okay. All right, so now I think I slam the flyer and next turn I can maybe gain some life, but I think a little wasteful to use this to gain one life and make a blood. Okay, here comes that, that's pretty good. but. Okay, that's not bad. So let's see here. Let's just attack for free. It's nice that I have also, if this dies, then this can maybe become an enchantment. Okay. Let's dump my mana here and can maybe attack for five next turn with blood. And this, of course, and then it's hard to raise. Okay, that's decent, but it's a little late to the party, honestly. Pont has a lot of those. Okay, so now... Interesting. I could trade two creatures for that. Because if I don't... So, uh, actually, this is kind of good, isn't it? No, it's not. No. Yeah, I guess I'll do this. V6. This. No. Actually, yeah. No. Ah. <laughs> uh, this seems better. Yeah, 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 yeah. Interesting. All right. Yep. I mean. I mean, that 
of the board is pretty good. So let's cast this, right? Make a blood. So now I could um, transform. That I think, yeah. Actually, let's sacrifice these. That way I gain life, right? And while the coast is clear, let's just attack for six. And then I'm gonna get blood end of turn. Then this is, uh, maybe I should have played the land, but I couldn't. Then, okay, so like, I think I'm gonna hold off sacrificing this because I wanna gain the blood next turn. And I still have mana to play a land. And, okay, that was unfortunate. Um, I won't top deck that, all right. Uh, what are you gonna do? Still have this getting in for free, but, and this is holding the fort nicely. So I think, and now I'm gonna suck the blood right now. If my body didn't draw this, I was just gonna go in easily. Now I think I'm still in good shape, but it's gonna be a little tougher now. It's gonna be a little tougher now because I'm out of blood and, oh, that's pretty good. Here's the thing though. Let's attack with only this. I'm not gonna. Hmm. I kinda wanna save Vampire's Kiss to. I'm gonna cast a spell this turn because I don't want my opponent's werewolves to flip. Question is do I cast Hopefully Initiate or do I cast Vampire's Kiss? The problem with casting Vampire's Kiss is that I kinda give away information, but honestly. What's my opponent gonna do? As soon as my opponent can kill this, he's gonna do that. So, and I might want to rummage away the hopeful any shit, right? So let's do this and then pass. I think. I think this is okay. Or are we suiciding this to gain four life? No, okay. So let's. My opponent now flips werewolves and. Yeah, you know what? Let's start by attacking. See here, and then I'm actually gonna double spell here and to flip the werewolves back because that just means my one has no way really good attacks except for the with the packs and pup, which I can take. And I can get rid of cards next turn. So this can attack now, I think. I mean, now I'm just gonna probably take the whole thing. Five, seven, 11, 13. Yeah, you can't do that, I don't think. Okay, uh, I guess pretty safe block to block like this. Don't really care too much. And I can take 11, right? This seems safe, I don't risk anything. I think my opponent is dead, but this is just one last desperate attack, I think. Okay, that's okay. Don't care too much. Life and have now access to an enchantment, which means if my opponent kills this, I get two one ones. Okay, and uh, I don't need to do that. Probably. Yeah, okay. As I said, this was desperate attack. All right, let's see if I can win this one. Okay, looks like we have an easy mulligan here. All right, I mean, it's okay. Got a redraw and This Bloodseeker has been pretty good so far. I think I have a lot of ways to trigger it. So, gonna have to ride with this because it's not gonna get any better on five. And I think this is a perfectly fine six card hand. Mana is fine too. Just hopes to draw some good stuff from the top. 
that was not the good stuff. Black white mirror, huh? If my pot has a bunch of courier bats, this could be bad for me. Okay. Well, how about that? So I think I block here, even though, because I mean, it's not like this is a bomb or anything. So I think just taking two here seems silly. Okay. That's gonna trigger next turn. Ooh, okay. That's a way to win a game, I guess. Oh, well, things are coming together here. Question is, I think I start with the Blood Viper. I have to be optimistic here. Like, I can't really play anything else that makes my opponent use removal. So. Yeah, I think I just have to run it out and hope my doesn't have anything. It's not gonna get any better. Maybe if I draw another four drop, that's decent. Okay, well, so here's to open, and I can also give this life link, if which means my opponent probably can't raise. But oh, my opponent doesn't have double black for uh, bleed, right? So. Still have Valor stance or the. So I am scared of the two men and destroy an attacking creature. But yeah, whatever. If you got it, you got it. You know. All right, you got it. So I wanted Molly into six, so I thought. Maybe there was a chance my phone didn't have it. Alright, what are you gonna do? I think if I don't attack, my pulse will eventually draw into six lands, right? And just cast it. So I think attacking is right. Even though it didn't work out. I think it was the right play. Uh, do I wanna. No, I don't think so. I'm gonna use Bleed Dry here. Question is on what? Alright, let's do on that. I guess I could have maybe used it on the life linker to avoid blood being created, but I can just increase the ritual that at some point, maybe. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, it's a little too late. Too little, too late. But I'm playing it. Could draw Cemetery Desecrator though. That would be good. Okay, here we go. So now that means training is active. Could also, if I have nothing to do, give this life link and get blood. But yeah. I think, uh, yeah, whatever. My fault is an aggro deck with fierce retribution. It's a little annoying. Okay. Well, I have to kill that. My phone drains me down to five. Yep. And I can get lifelink up to six, so I guess I attack because I don't want to block. Alright, I took a chance and I didn't get there, but I still think the play was correct. So if I draw if I has nothing and I draw the Desecrator, I can kill this and be okay. But of course, then my opponent has probably a couple of draw steps to draw something. So I go down to one. 
And there's no point in leaving this back to double block because I don't even want to kill this necessarily. Okay, well, no, it's dead anyway. Alright, so now... Okay. Yeah, I guess I do this just to make my opponent think I have a sweep. <laughs> okay, well, never mind. All right. So what do we got? Sanctify. Didn't see anything. I mean, I could put in this to get that stupid destroy an attacking creature, maybe. Maybe that's better than Vampire's Kiss. That's just a mediocre card anyway, but it, it gives me blood. All right. Bond didn't seem to have a good answer to Marco Purifier though, so that could be a way to win the game. Okay, this is better stuff. Pretty nice curve. Of course, hopefully initiate and blood seeker is not a great combo because it has one power. But yeah. It's always nice to have a turn one initiate. Really good in constructed, but less good in limited still playable, I think. This uh, deck doesn't have an easy way to create counters though, but... Alright. Mm -hmm. Okay, ceremonial, nice. That's an artifact to destroy, maybe. <laughs> though... Alright. Next one I might just give this unblockable gain a life and get a blood because I kind of want a blood here and my, my hand needs some action. So I could just, even though this is better with this, we'll see. We'll see what I draw. Okay, let's just cast this first. Hmm. Interesting. So yeah, I think I hold off. I don't really need to do that now. I might get some more value from Bloodstorm Squire. Okay. Play that. And... Sure. He has a braid, he has a braid. It's okay. Okay, Bond has nothing. Oh, that's a good card. <laughs> that's a problem. So I need something that costs five to get into my graveyard. Now I'm going to do this. And get drain for free and Gonna use the blood, but I don't need to use it now, I don't think. I mean, yeah, I could hit bleed dry, but I don't really care if my opponent drains me for two. So that's fine. Nice thing is always that my opponent is at 12 and I'm at 23, thanks to this card. So this card is pretty good, this game. So now it's hard for my opponent to attack me, which is nice. And right now this can only give minus two, minus two. Okay, this is only combat damage, okay, otherwise it would be a pretty sick combo with this. Though I guess it's life loss, not damage. It's okay, so four mana, oh my pot also has one of those. <laughs> okay, nice deck. My pot has a good deck. Okay, so let's cast, use this. Okay. All right, so if I attack with this, my opponent blocks with this. Um, I can't even. I could, but then it's not great because I would have to. I can't do all I want. I can't activate this and use this. That's more mana. Let's just do kind of ancestor. Get a blood and then sacrifice the blood. Hoping for like a traveling minister would be nice. Of course, bleed right would be good too. Oh, maybe I should have not. I don't know. OK. 
Okay. Uh, that's white. So I take five dollars eighteen. Okay. So What I think I'm going to do is attack with the ancestor and that. And at that point, I might as well what is attack with this too, I think. Desecrate and kill the one for I think that card's gonna be a problem. I really want to cast Desecrate this turn, and it's possible I could have just attacked with the Ancestor instead, and then I don't lose the initiative. But the initiative doesn't do much. I'm pretty happy about this. Now I get to kill the one free. Okay, I guess it doesn't really matter what, but kill that and. Got blood in the next turn. This has menace, so I guess it was good to me not to exile a creature because of this, I suppose, but if that matters. And if I draw bleeder I probably win, I think. And if not Okay. Mm-hmm. I can also transform this next turn, or any time I want actually, which also is a thing, but is still attacking. Probably a good idea. I want to also gain free with this sacrifice or something. Okay. Right. Um. Let's transform this. And attack with everything, I think. Maybe I can mice a win here somehow. If my opponent has to destroy an attacking creature, it can't target this, very, I don't think. Well, maybe. But I, I, I get some value then. Kill uh, free two. Um, I don't have an enchantment, so I can't discard this and make two one ones. Also, this has tramp. But we'll see. Uh, Maybe this Vampire's Kiss can steal the game. We'll see. Uh, blocks. Blocks, right? I'm about to take in seven. Can gain three. Which means... This is gonna drain, I think. Right. Now... The... Hmm. 
Paul is so close to being dead here. I go up to 12. 14. I guess I'm dead. Yeah, I don't know if I could have done anything differently. Alright. Well, whatever. <laughs> uh, it also gives me two blood. Alright. I don't. Ah, oh, so close. But. My opponent got me here. Oh well. Thank you for watching. I still think that. Could I win this game? I don't know. It's uh, possible, but. Huh. Tough time beating all these rares. Yes, this is a uh, interesting combo with this maybe. All right, next time it's gonna be a vintage cube draft. So stay tuned for that, it's gonna be great. Vintage Cube is one of the most fun formats they have on Magic Online.